Good afternoon, everyone. Hope you all are having a great day so far. So today, this video is meant more as a continuation of the Pale Rain and Jailbreak series I'm creating. Uh, currently, we are on iOS 17, and we are going to be jailbreaking this iPad 6th generation. In the previous video, we used an Intel-based Mac to perform the Pale Rain exploit. However, moving into this video, we are going to be using an Apple Silicon-based Mac to perform the exploit. It should be a fairly similar process. However, this video is going to demonstrate that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and go over to the computer and get started. All right, so here we are on the Apple Silicon-based Mac. And similar to the other process that we followed with the Intel-based Mac, we are going to go ahead at this point and open up a terminal window. And from here, we are going to enter the following command. After we press enter, it's going to request our password. And then from there, if we zoom in a little bit, we can go ahead and see that uh, Pale Rain has now been installed on this device in the path specified. So from here, we can go ahead and enter sudo Pale Rain to run the Pale Rain application. And now it is waiting for devices and for us to connect. So something that is slightly different than on the Intel-based Mac, at least in comparison to the Mac that I was using before, is that I will continue to be using this Alex uh, DC-SD cable, uh, this uh, lightning diagnostic cable that has lightning on one end and USB-A on the other. It is recommended that you use this one or that you use a cable like this, not specifically this one. Uh, I'm going to be using it with a USB-C adapter. So just plugging it in right there and then plugging it in to the computer and plugging it into the iPad as well. So now we are currently plugged into the iPad. Uh, we have trusted it with this computer and we see and that there's an error that says cannot connect to lockdown D uh, pairing dialog response pending. And that was that trust uh, dialog box, which we had to select so that the device could trust the computer and uh, continue. So let's uh, go ahead and re-enter that pseudo pale ring command and have it scan for devices once more. So after unplugging and replugging the device, uh, we have now entered recovery mode, or at least the device is attempting to. And once again, we are bombarded with uh, these notifications that there is a problem with the iPad or whatever it is. Yeah, we can go ahead and exit out of that. Once again, it is going to show you a series of instructions, which you are going to need to follow, involving holding the home and power button for a certain period of time, holding the home button. And if you do not do it correctly, then you're going to receive that warning and the device is going to continue to enter DFU mode until you follow those steps correctly. So let's go ahead and enter this device into DFU mode, and then we'll be right back. Now the device has entered DFU mode and it is rebooting. Uh, once again, all these uh, silly little windows from Apple is going to show. Uh, we can see that Pale Rain is booting on the device itself. And now we can see once again when we look back at the device, that Pale Rain is now installed. So we can go ahead and open the application. From here, similar to the previous video, we can go ahead and install Cilio. In this particular case, since I uninstalled Pale Rain, I have the choice to reinstall Cilio. So I can go ahead and do that here. And also Zebra looks to be already installed as well. And from here to either Zebra or Cilio, you can go ahead and install sources however you like, as well as any other applications or tweaks, uh, which you may need to do as well. If you need to go into the Pale Rain app itself and uh, look at its uh, version history, its architecture within the options, looking at utilities to enable uh, tweaks or opening troll helper or respring, respring, excuse me, UI cache. You are able to do those options from here as well. 
And you are also able to revert the install from here. However, for, I guess it's just my preference to revert the install from the command line itself on the computer. It seems a little bit cleaner to me in comparison to uh, some previous issues I've had with Pale Rain in the past. So yeah, uh, you also have some options for user space reboot, uh, launching daemons, mounting directories, uh, whatever you'd like to do. So that being said, it was a fairly similar process in comparison to installing on an Intel-based Mac. Uh, the only caveat in this case is on these newer Apple Silicon Macs, you will still need to use a USB-A to USB-C lightning cable, not necessarily a diagnostic cable. And you would also need to use a USB-C to USB-A adapter. If you're using a lightning to USB-C cable, those new ones that are shipped with those newer devices, then you may have problems. So it's not recommended to use those cables when you are performing this process with Apple Silicon. So uh, that would be it for the Apple Silicon process of enabling and using Pale Rain on these exploitable devices. In the description, I will also uh, post a link to determining whether or not your uh, particular device is exploitable as would be done in the uh, previous video, as well as the subsequent videos that will follow this. And uh, I am going to uh, work on those other videos. And at the time of this video, I'm going to be creating uh, that for Pale Nix, which is going to be for Windows, as well as uh, the Pale Rain exploits on a Linux uh, distribution as well. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, uh, thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Take care.